welcome back dear students to standard 5 subject mathematics chapter 13 three dimensional object and next i am miss komal narute students let's see the learning objective of this module in this module you will be learning about two dimensional object then three dimensional objects nets and questions related to it so let's get started students do you know what is two dimensional objects so objects which have only length and breadth but no thickness or negligible thickness can be called two dimensional objects square circle triangles etc are two dimensional objects this object also known as 2d so square circle and triangle having only two dimension such as length and breadth but here you can see no thickness so this all we can call as two dimensional or 2d objects rectangular circle triangle quadrilateral and pentagon are some more examples of 2d shapes students look at this pictures here in this picture you can see 2d figures sheet of papers picture on paper and shadows are some examples of two dimensional figures now we will see what is three dimensional objects three dimensional objects are objects whose length width and height can be seen felt or measured so what is three dimensional object so object whose length width and height we can see or we can feel the at or we can measure so that we call as three dimensional object so here we will see some examples so books glasses and tables are some three dimensional objects shapes which can be measured in three directions are called three dimensional shape these shapes are also called solid length width and height or depth or we can say thickness are the three measurements of the three dimensional shapes these are the part of three dimensional geometry they are different from 2d shape because they have thickness several examples can be found in everyday life students let me show you a chart it shows how three dimensional objects appear when seen from front from side and from above study it carefully 
So here first object is elif point. So from the front you can see like this. Then from one side elephant look like this and from the above view you can see like this. Now second object is cupboard. So let's see from front view cupboard is look like this. From one side it look like this and from above side it looks like this. Students, let's see some more examples of 3D shapes. So, example of 3D shapes that is cuboid, cube, cylinder, sphere, pyramid, and cone. Here you can see cuboid, cube. Cylinder, Spear, Pyramid and Cone. These are the few examples of 3D shapes. Because all this have length, breadth and thickness. Now we will discuss practice set 51. Question number 1. From the column shows a structure made of blocks. The other column shows different view of the structure in two dimension. Say whether each view is from front, from a side or from above. So here you can see. The block formation and view of block formation. So we have to see or we have to write the names of view formation. So let's see first one. So here you can see the first block. The first picture is from front view. The second is from a side view and the third one is from the above view. So like this you will answer. Now let's see the second one. So here you can see the first one is from above view. The second picture is from a side view and the third one is from front view. Third picture, here you can see the first picture is from a side view. The second one is from the front view and the third one is from the above view. So like this you will write. Question number two, draw three pictures of each of these three dimensional objects. So first object is table, second one is chair and third one is water bottle. As view from the front, from a side and from above. So we have to draw table from front view, from a side view and from above view. So for chair also we have to draw chair from front view, then from a side view and from the above view. The third object is water bottle. So this also we have to draw from the front view, from side view and from the above view. So let's see. So for table here you can see object. So from a side view you can see. It look like this from front view you can see it's look like this and from the above view it look like this so like this you have to draw this in your notebooks 
Now, second thing is share. So, here you can see the object. From a side view, it looks like this. From front view, it looks like this. And from the above view, it looks like this. So, like this, you will draw. Now, third object is water bottle. So, this is your object. So, from the front view, it looks like this. So, you will draw like this. From above view, it looks like this. And from a side view, it looks like this. So, like this, you will draw. Now, we will see what is net. So, the two-dimensional shape from which a three-dimensional object can be made by folding is called the net of that object. So, if you have two-dimensional shape object or by folding that object, you can make the three-dimensional object that we called as net. So, let's see some example of net. So, first example is by folding the cardboard shown below along the lines in it, we get a three-dimensional object means box. In this shape, all the surface are square. So, an object of this shape is called a cube. Second example, the net of another cardboard box is shown in this figure by folding along the lines in this net and joining the edges to each other, we can see that a three-dimensional box is formed. The surface of this box are rectangular shape. So, an object of this shape is called a cuboid. Now, we will see a 5 square net or pentomino. In the figure alongside, the 5 square of the same size are placed together with their side joint. Such a range of a 5 square is called a 5 square net or a pentomino. So here you can see 5 square net or we can say pentomino. By folding along the edges of such 5 square net, an open box is formed. Here we completed with chapter number 13 three-dimensional object and net. Thank you, dear students.